High school sporting events may look different this year, but there's a group of ladies at each of our local high schools that are making sure the school's spirit and pride look the same. The name Cheer is in their title. We're excited. We like doing what we do. We like to support our teams. But it hasn't been the most cheerful of times since the coronavirus pandemic rocked the world of sports. It's been difficult because it's everything's up in the air. We've had a lot of changes. We never know what's going to happen. Like we could be practicing hard and then later that day we get the call that we're quarantined and can't go to school for two weeks. It's really more challenging because we have to like lift the team up always because there's so many negative things like happening in the world right now. These are just some of the challenges that cheerleaders have had to face in the last year. We were told we'd be able to cheer and then we got pulled back and for a while we thought we were at a dead hole and like we weren't going to cheer the rest of the season. And for these cheer squads who both compete in competitions and cheer on their fellow athletes at sporting events, this has been a year of adapting. I mean, they're going to have to really dig deep before we can really feed off of the crowd and now they have to bring it on their own and feed off of each other. But on the sidelines of nearly empty gymnasiums, you'll find local high school cheerleaders smiling behind their mask. It's kind of a relief to cheer again at a basketball game, just because you go from doing nothing to doing two games in a row. And cheering on even the smallest of crowds. I feel really confident in like how my team has dealt with everything. Um, so that's been really cool to witness um, them, you know, stay positive trying to bring some normalcy back to high school events. Last year and the years before, we'd always like cheer at parades or something. We'd always be like involved in the community. And this year, it's kind of been a lot harder. Just being back cheering, it feels normal because everything is not normal this year. And whether a cheer competition is virtual or in person, these girls are ready to bring it. I think it just comes down to passion. They just really love what they do and they dig deep. And if they can't do it for themselves that day or they can't, do it for their friends or for their parents or for their team, then um, we've really worked on doing it for the girls that can't be on the mat this year, just worldwide. Before Idaho Governor Brad Little adjusted the high school athletic plan, only six cheerleaders were allowed into basketball games with very little spectators. I think the hardest part is not having the fans, like not having the student body. They do pretty good at keeping the spirit up in the game and it's been fun to watch them adjust to whatever we have to to be able to be there. But as of January 22nd, the new guidelines allow the whole squad to attend games. Now that we're all allowed to be here, it's even better. I have my whole team cheering tonight. And now that schools can fill 40% of their gym's capacity, there'll be more fans to pump up. You get like energy from the crowd. Like the crowd will, you kind of feed off each other. And so you kind of miss that. So I'm excited we have a crowd today because it's like, oh, we get all the energy back and it really feels like a real game. And through all the uncertainty, the squad has continued to work hard, stay positive, and bring some cheer back into the sports we've missed. And you know, something I never realized about cheerleading is those ladies practice at 6 in the morning, <laughs> and then they go to the games at 7.30 at night. I can't believe how long their day is with long school in days, between. Huh?